Well, I've always had a love for flying, and I've enjoyed subjects such as climatology and GIS and remote sensing. I found that it was a great opportunity uh, to combine a commercial pilot's license with a degree from a highly credible school. I joined the aviation program because I've always had a love for flying since the first time that we got to do it, and I thought it'd be a great way to pursue a career in which I'd enjoy getting up every day in the morning and going flying. Well, I decided to enter aviation here at Waterloo One because UW is one of the most reputable universities around. So, you know, I wanted to associate myself with a reputable university as well as do something that I love. I started to really get into flying when I was about 12 years old. I had a friend who was in the Air Cadet program. He started taking me out to that. We got introduced to gliders and I went on my first glider ride. Ever since then, uh, I've been hooked. Uh, it was when I joined Air Cadets. I was 15 years old. I'd actually been afraid of flying until this point. But they took me up in their gliders that they have and I loved it. So I was able to get my glider pilot's license through them and now I'm pursuing this afterwards. Um. Probably when I was around, I was pretty young, probably when I was six, watching Top Gun. A lot of people, I know, was probably around that. Uh, well, when I was a younger one, I used to fly around with my parents. We used to travel a lot, and I just realized that, you know what, I like being up in the air, so this is what I want to do. Uh, future career goals, I want to uh, achieve an ATPL, an airport train airline transport pilot's license and uh, one day fly for a major airline. I hope to join the military as a pilot right now, uh, hopefully doing transportation with them. Uh, it'll take a couple years after this, but I hope to do that for my life. Uh, I plan to be a fighter pilot in the military. I'm already in the military, I've been for three years in the infantry. Uh, in terms of career goals, I'm hoping to work with Air Canada or Air Jamaica soon. Or I probably might just give back, work with the UN, and fly, do some missionary flying to uh, third world countries in Africa. Uh, first year, first year was great. We uh, got to meet our fellow students. We got to uh, struggle and succeed together. Watch each other struggle. Watch each other grow. And it was always a partnership. Everyone was there for everyone. I think the neatest thing about first year is probably everything is new and exciting to you. And mine was probably on my first solo, I had a big Airbus coming in to land behind me. And he was congratulating me on my first solo and I found that was pretty neat. And it's just really neat all the experiences for your first year because everything is brand new. Uh, you guys will realize what I'm talking about when this happens, but uh, one guy named uh, Camille Hemorrhage decided it would be a good idea to say <laughs> he would take off from the apron. <laughs> Well, the aviation industry is a harsh one, and job security at times can be uh, can be questionable. And it's always good to have someone to back you up, and that's why I decided a degree from the university would be excellent to pair up with my commercial pilot's license. I thought getting a degree really makes your resume, especially it's more attractive to airlines afterwards if you want to pursue that. As well, I've always enjoyed geography, and I thought it'd be a great combination to do with aviation, just because they're related. So much. Well, being an officer in the military, you it's required that you have a degree. So by getting a degree, I can be an officer in the military, as well getting the aviation program can be a head start as a fighter pilot. Again, uh, because one, UW is very reputable. Secondly, uh, the two goes hand in hand. You know, to be a pilot, you sort of have to know geography. So you know, why not get a degree while I'm getting my license as well? That just makes me better qualified. Too. Uh, for the new uh, students coming in, I'd say the best thing you can do is keep on top of your work, ask lots of questions, seek out help. There's always someone going through the same thing, always someone willing to help you. That's one thing I notice. Everyone here wants you to succeed, and if you want it, you got to stick with it. My advice is don't give up. This program is a lot of work, but if you really enjoy it, the help's there. There's lots of people to get you through it. Just keep up with it because in the end, it's totally worth it. Always Trust me, get some serious Oh, uh, when you're coming down on a crosswind, uh, don't put down 30 degrees of flaps like a few of the other pilots here. <laughs>